More federal MPs are tonight being dragged into Parliament's dual citizenship trap. The family history of all members of the House of Representatives have been declared and published. Most have cleared up their status, but many others have gaps in their paperwork that will attract closer scrutiny. Political editor Andrew Proben is in Parliament House. The citizenship register went live late this afternoon, Canberra time, and this entire building's been poring over a mass of documents lodged by 148 MPs this morning. Nothing's definitive, but at first blush it appears that at least five MPs have some citizenship doubts. They comprise four Labor MPs and South Australian independent Rebecca Sharkey. Three in Labor's ranks have been talked about for some time as having potential problems. Tasmanian Justine Kay, Queenslander Susan Lamb and Josh Wilson from the West. In some of the cases, it appears renunciation of British citizenship came weeks, if not months, after the date required. But a new case has also emerged. David Feeney, a senior Labor MP, former frontbencher and Victorian factional heavyweight. Mr Feeney believes he renounced his UK citizenship before he first entered Parliament a decade ago. But attempts to find the paperwork to prove it have come to nothing so far. If none is found, he'll throw himself on the High Court's mercy. Nonetheless, I accept that at this moment my status as a citizen in UK law remains unclear. On this basis, if the relevant documents have not been located by the time this issue is dealt with in the House of Representatives, I will be asking the Manager of Opposition Business to refer this matter to the High Court. Labor asserts there are government MPs with cases to answer too, but initial assessment suggests the worst of this crisis might be behind the coalition and may have just started for the opposition. Ultimately, though, this mess has to be cleared, first by the Parliament referring cases and then by the High Court.